Hi, welcome. In the past videos, I've made it pretty clear that I'm good with computers, but not the best with tools. And that has forced me to come up with easy ways to build things. In this video, we'll go over how to design a budget-friendly metal enclosure. A ready-made metal enclosures usually cost you over $350, ranging all the way up to $1,000. But in this video, I'll show you how we can achieve that in a little over $100. Okay, so let's get started. The solution I opted for is to use a server cabinet box. By the way, the exact box that I use does not seem to be available on Amazon at this very moment, maybe available in future. But regardless, I have put all the links in the description. As you can see, there are a number of options around the $100 mark. And to be honest, the options are kind of overwhelming. So here are a few tips that I'll go over. First and foremost, the glass for the cabinet must be absolutely clear. Do not use an enclosure with, with a glass that has a tint. It will obviously kill your projection brightness and that's not what we want. You can also choose to replace the glass, but that's a lot more hassle. Next up, have a look at all the vent locations provided within the cabinet and see what you can easily cover up and what you can use strategically to place fans and stuff. The cabinet that I used also had a shelf and let me tell you the shelf does come in handy so I opted for a one with a shelf. So here we go. This is the box that I used and all I did is use some waterproof tape to cover up the obvious vents that were there on the top and the sides. Now you don't have to be too particular about waterproofing because the box at the bottom has a bunch of holes including holes for the screws and also punch out holes for wires so there is no way the box is going to fill up with water even if there are leaks. So all I had to do is make sure there are no obvious leaks in the roof and also the wind is not going to get any rain in. That's pretty much it. Every little piece of equipment that I have on this box is on this little shelf. So there is nothing on the box floor. Even if a little bit of water leaks in from some of the joints and the sides, it should not touch any sensitive equipment. At the end of the day, it's just going to drain from the bottom. So there you go. That's one quick, easy way to get a metal enclosure that can be locked and can be easily waterproofed. In my case, the sides are not really locked, but the way the projector is mounted and the way the box is mounted to my fence in this case, it'll be quite a hassle for someone to pick this up and take it off. The punch out holes at the bottoms that were already provided is something that you can use to put wires through. I also have a vent fan pulling cold air in like my other boxes. So that takes care of ventilation as well. Okay, so next up, as I spoke in the previous video, I'll show you an alternate to the projector mount that we used. The main downside for the projector mount is it takes up a lot of space. It's about six inches in height. That makes the projector set up bulky. Not only that, there's a bunch of screws involved in the installation. And also when you have to move the projector around, you might have to tweak a few of those screws and make sure to get the right amount of tightness. So there are some hassles involved with the projector mount. So in order to find an alternative, this is what I use. This is called a ball mount, which is ideally used on tripods to connect cameras. In order for you to be able to adjust your cameras any direction you want, in our case, we're gonna use this to connect a projector and achieve a similar objective, be able to move the projector in any direction we want. So this is the exact ball mount that I used. It's about $25, give or take. And as you can see with the load capacity, it's about 22 pounds, which is more than enough for my projector. And the key here is all it takes is for you to turn one knob to be able to adjust the projector in any direction you want. Of course, you can't change the height, but you can change the tilt in any angle you want back and forth sideways you can even rotate the projector so pretty much gives you complete flexibility and all it adds is three inches of height which is a significant improvement and in terms of installation there aren't a bunch of screws and hassle you have to go through all you have to do is make sure you can fix the ball mount somehow to the base of the box in my case like i said i'm using a shelf which already had holes in there so all i did was put a screw through one of the holes and connected the ball mount so that way my ball mount is steady on the shelf and the projector is of course connected to the ball mount the one tricky part here compared to using traditional projector mount is the traditional projector mount has much better foundation on the projector itself since it connects with three screws that are designed for projector mount but in this case i'm only using one screw connected to the center of the projector 
and hoping that the one screw is good enough to handle the entire weight of the projector. Of course, that is not ideal, but I'm just taking a calculated gamble in this case. So I just want to be upfront about that. Again, all of the things that I've used should be linked in the description. If you have any questions, let me know.